Hey guys, so to start today, we're going to attach all 20 of our cords to our 12 inch dowel using the Lark's head knot. And if you've never done it, you just fold each cord in half. So that's the center. Make a loop over that dowel, pull the cords through and tighten it. And I'm going to link a video in the description uh, with all these basic beginner knots in case you need some extra help. Now that all of our cords are attached, 20 cords in total, I'm going to do three rows of square knots, so alternating square knots. So basically you take four, take the very first cord, place it over the center two, take the far cord over that one behind through the loop. And again, there's a beginner video in the description as well where I do slow step-by-step -step of each knot. And then we're gonna go to the right, behind, through the loop. So once you do one from each side, that is your square knot. Okay, now that that first row is done, we're going to start the second row. And if you're doing alternating square knots, which is what we're doing, the sides are going to come straight down. We're going to leave out the first two and the last two for the next row. Because you want to have four cords and join the upper two together for each one. So two from this one, two from this one. Now for the third row, we're going to start at the very beginning again because we are attaching, uh, joining all the upper ones across. So we're starting with the first four. So now that we've done three full rows, we're going to start to make the top of the heart. So we're going to skip the first two, make a square knot. And then we're going to skip one and two. So no knot there, no knot there. And now we're going to do three across here now we're going to skip one and two and we're going to make the last one right here. For the next row, we're going to start right at the beginning. And we're going to go to where these three were and join those up. Well, we'll make a little V here right now.
there we go. So you can see the heart starting to take shape from there. Okay, so now we're going to start to fill in the top area with the rose knots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these um, four millimeter strings. I've cut this to, it's about 40 inches. And I'm going to show you, um, you can make these smaller and cut less cord, or you could make them longer and uh, make the rose knots bigger. So basically I'm just going to wrap it around two cords from behind and I'm going to go over and just do it like a square knot. So those center two will remain in place. I'm going to pull it just about like just under an inch up there behind again. So I'm going to make two tight square knots and I'm going to make sure that um, the strings are all close together. Okay, so now you can see it, it's kind of squished together. I'm going to take those center two cords. I'm going to go through this little space right up here. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to squish it down. And then I'm going to take our two working cords, the colored cords we just used. And I'm just going to make half a square knot and you'll see why. It's just going to tighten things up and keep it in place. Now I'll take those same colored cords and I'm just going to twist it under there and I'm going to wrap it around those knots and I'm going to do two, three times. So you can see how big that is. So if you cut about four inches less, you get away with just doing two times around. So here's how we secure it. I have these two colored cords that we were just working with and then those center two cords. I'm going to take one, I'm going to put it behind those center two cords, and from here, we're going to make a half a square knot just to secure it into place. And this way, because a big issue with rose knots is they quite often come undone. So this way I found makes it much more secure. So we're going to continue with that. This time I'm going to use an ivory white, same length again. Um, just because I like to mix up all the colors, you do not have to do that. You can use anything that you have, all one color, it's totally fine. So same thing, I'm taking these two cords here, taking our working cord, and I'm going to make it like a square knot on top of those two. So there we go. I've made two full square knots and you can see they're tightly put together. I'm just going to push them up to about there. There we go. Once more, I'm taking those center two. Through that little gap up there. Give it a nice squish. Now with those two working cords, once more over those center two, behind with the right. Now for this one, I'm just going to show you what it looks like if we just go twice around. Just because I'm going to have some different sizes in here, I don't want them to all be super uniform and looking the same. So I'm going to go once and twice. Just so that one is a little bit different in size than the other. And once more, I'm taking that left working cord, putting it behind those center two. And from there, I'm going to make half of a square knot to secure it into place. Just push it up. 
So there you go. So now I'm just going to use all different colored cords and I'm going to start filling in this entire area. Okay, now I've done one, two, and one, two, three. So I'm gonna do pretty much the same pattern on the opposite side, but it does not have to be exact. I'm gonna mix up these colors a little bit because I do not want it to look perfect, but that's my personal preference. Okay, so now that the top part's done, um, moving forward as we work our way down, um, obviously I'm going to place one in the, that little center spot there, but as we work our way across, we're just going to kind of fill in all the gaps, and they can be different sizes, so you can make the smaller ones, you can make them even tinier like that, or larger, and just work our way across, so not coming down one after another. Um, and then we will start to taper in to make the shape of um, the heart, the bottom of the heart. Hey guys, so you're probably going to notice this heart is different. I actually spilt coffee all over the other one I was making. So in case anyone notices, these are different colors. I didn't do it exactly the same. I just remade the entire thing and I stopped where we left off with um, the previous one. So now we're going to work on closing it in with square knots. I do want to make a note that I've trimmed down 
all of the cords um, from these rose knots just so that they didn't get um, mixed up with the rest of the cords while we're making our square knots. And so how we're going to do these sides here, I'm going to do a square knot using the very first four. And yes, it will be directly underneath the one above it. Okay, so I've made two here and you can see I just left those little spaces just to make it all look uniform so that they weren't right together there. And now for my next row, I'm going to start by skipping the first two because you can see these can connect now. So I'm going to use these four, the next four, and start to work my way down. Now that I've come right down to um, the very bottom of it, the center point, I'm going to repeat the exact same steps um, from the opposite side and just join it all together.
Now that I've closed up that um, area there and I've brought it down to the bottom of the last fairy knot, I'm just going to do a couple more rows um, and bring it down a little bit. This is where you can customize it. So if you want the bottom to come down into a V, make your square knots into a V. If you want it to end there, we can stop here. If you want more space at the bottom, just add a couple more rows of the square knots. Okay, so now that we're done all of the square knots, we're gonna make vertical clove hitch knots. And I've taken my cord here, same cord as this one, five millimeter uh, single strand. And I'm gonna do it around, we're gonna do vertical clove hitch knots around two cords at a time. So you take the first two, and I'm gonna take this shorter piece, and I'm just going to simply tie it around the back. Just a regular knot around those two. Okay, so it should look like that. I'm going to tighten that up a bit. And now, with the longer portion of the cord, I'm going to put it in front, pull that behind, and I'm going to take that cord that we just pulled through that loop and pull it straight back so that each of the knots we're going to make has two two knots right there to finish it off so now i'm going to take the next two and i'm going to take this long cord and i'm going to go from behind over the front and just pull that through and now i'm going to tighten it up right next to those ones Okay, and once more to finish it. So from behind, over the front, through that loop, and then with that cord we pulled through, straight to the back. And we're just gonna do it all the way across till we uh, reach the end. Okay, now that I've done that row of the vertical clove hitch knots, I'm going to be adding a fringe and you don't have to make your fringe as long as I am. Um, these cords, same cord as before, five millimeter, these are cut to 33 inches just because I do like a nice little bit of length. And I also wanted to note that you can add a different color here, make it shorter and then have that nice cream color coming in behind as well it gives a really nice effect but for myself this is for someone special so i'm doing it all the one color so i've taken the two 33 inch cords um, found the center and i'm just going to take so this section here this two and two i'm going to take that center point and i'm going to put it around or I should say these four cords, but I'm sectioning them in two and two from here. 
So I'm going to put them in front. And I'm just going to open up that little loop. And I'm going to take the cords from behind that we're adding on. Pull it through. And I'm going to go behind this side. And I'm going to pull it through. And I'm pulling them through on top of this because I actually don't want that knot to show. But again, you can pull them through from underneath it if you would like that um, portion to show. And I'm just going to pull it up nice and tight. And you can see that that's how it's going to come through. So I'm just going to continue that, adding two 33 inch cords to each of these sections. I've attached all of the extra fringe. You can see it's done, two on each. And now I'm gonna secure those into place. So I'm just going to turn my wall hanging around. There you go. So I'm gonna take these cords, make sure I'm not getting any extras in there. And I'm just gonna push these up the whole way across just to secure everything into place. So this will hold it up there nice and tight.